Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you cannot connect to the update service on Windows 10. So if you're having problems with your update, this tutorial should hopefully be for you. So first thing I would personally suggest would be to open up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time, type in troubleshoot, best match to come back with troubleshoot settings, you want to left click on that. And on the right side underneath Get Up and Running, you want to select Windows Update. And then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. And if it suggests anything, just follow along. It says we might have to restart our computer. I'm going to just select Next because it didn't actually prompt us to do anything in that moment, so I just want to follow along with this. And you see a check for pending restart. I've noticed before sometimes it'll come back with if it finds issues with your services, it'll resolve those issues, so hopefully the troubleshooting utility will be able to resolve the problem. So close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that's been able to resolve the problem. If you are still experiencing issues after you've restarted your computer, go ahead and open up File Explorer. So just open up the Start menu, type in File Explorer here, we're going to open up File Explorer, and then on the left side, left click on this PC. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. There should be a little hard drive with a Windows logo above it. You want to go ahead and double click on that, and then double click on the Windows folder. Scroll down to get to Software Distribution, and double click on that. Double click on the Download folder, and then anything listed here, you just want to highlight over everything, so just use your mouse clicker and just drag over everything or do control A, whichever you prefer, if you want to use a keyboard, and just right click, delete, and if you see anything that says folder access denied, just check mark where it says do this for all current items, and then continue. And once you're done with that, you just close out of here, which is just restarting your computer, and again, hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.